Hello everyone and thank you very much for watching my tutorials. In this video I'm going to explain to you how to deal with missing values. Um, unfortunately data in the real world is not always perfect. What that means is uh, sometimes we have to pre-process the data before we use it for example to uh, build a model or use it to make predictions. Uh, missing values is one problem where as the name suggests we have some data but with values which are not there so missing value it is actually a common occurrence it happens quite often as we said data in the real world is not always perfect we need to have a strategy for treating them we need to have a good strategy so we can make the most of our uh, models we can make the most of the data so we can build good predictors and make good predictions for future data now a missing value can signify a number of different things in our data whenever we have a missing value then that can tell us there are possibilities or there are uh, issues that we need to maybe maybe try to think about and resolve about our data for example uh, when the data um, <coughs> was was collected that missing value was not available there or the value for a miss or for example a missing value from a certain field or a certain column in our data it may have not been available at that time or didn't even actually happen if we for example record uh, ev data about events then maybe some event didn't even take place did not even happen or maybe it could be a problem with the data entry because many times we have data entered manually by a person and uh, in, in many situations or many, in, many, in many occasions uh, the person who enters the data just misses that value or maybe he didn't know he or she didn't know the re right value for that field and therefore he left it empty and we have it now as a missing value now for data mining methods as we will learn in our data mining course I have actually recorded this video after I finished the data analysis course um, by the way there I actually speak about the data in the first uh, in the first or second video I speak about data and what data set what data sets usually look like um, so in the coming course when I speak about data mining algorithms or data mining methods many of them handle data with missing values but they can have different different ways or different strategies of treating them so the data mining methods vary in the way they treat missing values I mean you can ignore them you can replace replace them with uh, a certain character we'll come to that now typically they ignore the missing value or exclude any records containing missing values now this is quite good usually for example if even if we want to do some data analysis if you uh, if you've seen my analysis course then for example if we want to plot the data many tools or many packages actually ignore entries ignore whole records or whole instances uh, or whole, whole lines they ignore the whole line which have or which have uh, a missing value so we just ignore it basically yes or exclude it some of them replace the missing value with the mean of the data from that field or that column so if we have for example numerical data we can uh, calculate the mean and then put it in in place of the missing value so, so we can fill it rather than ignoring the whole line or the whole record or maybe we can infer uh, the missing value if if the values of that column where the uh, data is missing is uh, categorical rather than numerical if it's categorical then we can uh, use for example or we can infer it from you know the values from the existing value we can, we, yes so maybe we can for example uh, choose the most common value from those categorical values like for example we can use the mode which is the most common value or we can find a way of replacing it now as we said missing values they occur quite often and data in the real world is not always perfect so we might need to do some 
pre-processing before we apply or before we do machine learning and do data mining now this is just an example uh, data about education maybe uh, for the frequency maybe we can have blank records or blank fields uh, they can make up to maybe more than 80% of the data that's a problem if we have missing values but this is just an example now missing values replacement policies now how can we replace missing values some as we said before some techniques they ignore the records with missing values I mean if you remember the iris data set this is the iris data set the famous one I speak I spoke about it quite uh, extensively in my data analysis course and here what I've done is I have deleted some values and if you notice here we have two consecutive commas here here and here so these this is how usually missing values look like in uh, data sets if the uh, if the if data we have is a CSV comma separated value or character separated value these are the column names and this uh, these are the rows or records or instances then usually we have two consecutive commas for a missing value and one way we can do it what we can do is we can ignore the whole record or maybe instead of ignoring ignoring the whole record we can replace it with a global constant like for example with a question mark so we can do there there we can say a question mark indicating that 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 value is actually missing we don't know it it's not actually available instead of ignoring the whole record or maybe we can fill the missing value manually based on our domain knowledge so if we know the domain then we can fill it manually rather than ignoring the whole record and using uh, a character like for example a question mark so again we can fill it using our domain knowledge we can fill that of course manually or maybe we can replace it with a variable mean if the data is numerical so if we look at this here this column is numerical so we can compute the mean for the remaining values and then put it in place of the question mark because this is numerical data yes if the data was categorical then we can uh, replace it with the most frequent value which is the mode so if the data is uh, numerical then we can probably replace it with the mean of the remaining values of the same field of course not 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 the mean of the whole of, of every field no the fee the uh, I'm sorry the mean of that field or the um, mode of that field of the field where data is missing and when we use modeling techniques when we use machine machine learning and when we use when we do data mining then we can use algorithms which have a good policy or which deal with data with missing values are f such as for example nearest neighbor algorithm or uh, Bayes rule or decision trees and so on and so forth I, ho I hope this makes sense these are some strategies or some policies for treating missing values thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in one of my next videos